All right, all right, all right. It's Double Deuce back today. Oh, I did a little testing. Um, more like bench running. So, wanted to see if the gearbox would work with the clutch, how much torque the engine had on the V12. So, stay tuned. Grab your favorite smoked beverage popcorn, whatever you want to do, and hang out with me today. Double Deuce back. Ah, with an update on the V12 build. You can see I got a radiator in there now. It, I do this stuff temporary, so don't mind the zip ties. There's no use of uh, going nuts when you're only prototype testing stuff. Um, I did not know anything about this V12 other than it was a V12. It ran on gas, and uh, it, you know, I knew no torque specs, no horsepower, any of that stuff you know you don't find that stuff out until you actually run something you put it in a build and you know you you just hope for the best you know um, you can use prior build experience on um, gear ratios and stuff like that but and you have to work with the size of your engine now um, I've got no fans hooked up and my temp probe it's not hooked up yet because I'm I have to go get a T for my hose and before I spent any money on that I wanted to see if this heater core radiator here would work um, this is you can see I converted I cut the side off up here uh, this had two spouts on the top you can it comes with tubes you can use them if you want I kind of wanted a scale looking radiator like a big you know big four car Chevrolet diesel radiator um, and it does transfer the heat very well um, I used metal bond when I cut this off here and just a piece of aluminum and metal bonded it to that I cut the lip off here metal bonded a screw in here and a nut I should say and then I put a tiny little rubber o-ring around the bolt it goes in there and it seals it up good and tight and uh, it works pretty well now I did have a hose blow off here um, when I was prior testing the thing here and I'll show you right here so everything kind of wet here so when I was running this thing because you're gonna get to see it in video um, you're gonna see me hold the gearbox brakes because the, the gearbox on the send GSTE or GST Colossus not GSTE um, it has brakes front and back on each drive shaft and the clutch needs a little bit more adjustment um, this is um, a bunch of um, Heinz 57 parts from like the B5 the Robin um, the Sen and uh, I had a couple of pieces of eighth inch square aluminum that I had made an adapter plate for the clutch to fit and um, when I tear the engine back out, I will go over what I did with the clutch. Um, I was only running first gear and reverse. You're, you're not going to see a tremendous amount of wheel speed, but it does pick up pretty good there. And, uh, you know, like I say, as the test goes on, I will put fans in it. I probably won't use these. They're pretty bulky. Um... I've seen um, some other um, quarter scale guys out there had like a really thin fan with a double radiator and um, these engines need a lot of cooling a lot of cooling I ran this thing for about 15 minutes um, just playing with it before I even put it on camera because I had to dial in the carburetor um, when you have a bench top engine like this and you're running it, you know, on the bench top, it's fine. But as soon as you put a load on the clutch, now you have to readjust the carb. It needs more fuel, you know. And um, there's a lot of factors involved there. So the clutch is dragging just a little bit because I got to tighten my springs up, which is it's a fully adjustable three shoe clutch. And I put them kind of halfway just to start it out. There's a little slot inside the clutch. I put it halfway. 
Now I'm gonna have to tighten them shoes up just a little bit beyond half so it'll engage when I rev it. And this is the second time I've used one of these area SCZ three shoe adjustable clutches and changed the springs in it and cut the shaft off the back and adapted it to fit um, this one here and I did it on my Ingemore G52 V8. Now I got that one dialed in. You can actually hold the clutch in your hand while it's idling and as you start bringing your RPMs up it starts ripping the clutch I mean it rips the clutch out of your hand so um, and one thing I wanted to see is how much torque this engine had and um, so I held the brakes on the gearbox and you'll see me in the video holding the brakes and revving it and it, it like jerks the wheels you know what I mean it does, doesn't stall it so anyways before I go and adjust my second gear and my third gear in this I want to make sure the clutch works and that's just something that we do I've made a lot of mistakes in my past um, you know getting ahead of myself and then you now instead of one problem you got three you see and um, but like I say I was kind of tickled to get this up and running um, they do have more options for this engine <clears throat> and it's uh, like I say this build will probably go away for a little while here but I wanted to see if this worked first and um, I haven't got a radio in it yet to go out and physically test it because I'm still testing heat gearbox clutch you know and weight ratio uh, there's a lot of weight on the front of this thing and uh, so all those problems kind of need to be addressed so but um, the delay in the build, it was, a, it was a crazy week this week at work, and um, I had a lot of things on my plate. So, um, and I was waiting for stuff to show up, and time to put it together, you know. So I'm waiting for a tea, a, just a plastic vacuum tea to put in here, in my lower radiator hose. I want a plastic vacuum tea here. That way I can just connect the two together and clamp them with clamps and I can take my heat probe, my temperature probe, and I can slide down in the top of the T with a hose and just clamp it. That way there I get a good accurate reading coming out of the radiator into the block. Um, I was going to put another nipple in the block and just put it in here, which I could do. We'll see what happens, um, but I want to hook this up because what this does, it controls your fans, shows your temperature of your engine, and you know you can adjust when you want to turn them on and off. And that, you know it's pretty cool these things, and they're they're not that expensive. Um, I bought a ton of these things like a couple of years ago with anticipations of doing these projects. If I can find the link, um, uh, you know one of my other subscribers had put one on his toy and build. It was pretty cool and the fans kick on and off automatically and so you know now we've upped that scale massively with this v12 um we got three times the weight twice the heat but we i was really impressed with the power of the v12 it actually like i say when you see the video um if you kind of know gas rc cars you'll see how it just rips rips the the wheels you know what I mean like it even though I'm holding the brakes it's pretty cool so but now on my next upcoming video um, there's some new stuff out there and uh, I want you guys opinion on that I want your opinion on this build and uh, like I say the more you comment here the more they read in China and they adapt things you know and so you know they don't know what we want until we tell them. I mean, they can make all kinds of cool things, but, you know, if uh, they're stabbing in the dark and we're not buying, you know, if they build what we want, we're the buyer, we have the voice. Uh, so make sure you put your comments down below. And um, that way there, you know, every, you know, education is cool. Everybody knows what's going on now. So, so Long story short, I'll probably end up taking a couple of these radiators and mounting them in the back, kind of like a like a Baja truck, uh, to keep this thing really cool. Because 
like I say, I had about 15 minutes of playing with it, and, you know, I was kind of hard on it, you know, so I was kind of revving it up, revving it up, trying to see how the clutch was going to react, and now when you start bogging and putting weight on the engine, you create a little bit of heat, and now you got more heat than just a desktop engine, so, anyways, guys, I'm going to throw some, the video there, let it run, um, let me know what you think, and, if I'm on the right track or not, you know, uh, let me know that too. And uh, so, anyways, like, share, subscribe if you want. Love to all, and I'll catch you later, man. Adios.